Hey guys, for today we'll be taking a look at my room. We're gonna be doing a room tour. Just because it's been a yearly tradition and I've just been doing a room tour once every year just to see how much it changed, how much it did not change. But yeah, so, and I hope you guys are having a good summer. So there is that. But yeah, I'm just gonna pan around a bit just to give you an overview and then we'll go back here. So we'll start off right here. We'll go with my duster, car keys, back scratcher, don't ask. And uh, we have my X-Men animated series poster right here, which looks really cool. Uh, my desk, my PC setup with my Secret Labs gaming chair. Uh, yeah, and we have this Diamond Select Toys uh, Rogue bust, so there's that, pretty cool. As you guys can see right here, I do not have my single issues comic collection anymore. I ended up selling those off because the, de the passion died really quick. Like I got back into it for a while, for a few months, and I just decided to sell them off. So, so here you have my DVDs one of two and my DVDs two of two. The reason why I put my DVDs in these boxes now because I have no room to put them. I don't have any, uh, I guess, shelving for these. So I just put them in the box. And plus, I barely touch uh, my DVDs anyways, but like I said, I still support physical media. So it's just good to keep them in there and preserved, so yeah. But you guys can see my desk, office supplies, coasters, that kind of stuff. My phone stand right here. Uh, Marvel Legends, the Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Cyclops and this action figure stand actually were made for dolls but if you look up action figure stand on Amazon these stands will be the first ones to pop up and they come in a set of three so you get three for like $9.99 I want to say but this video could age poorly and the price could change at this point but yeah but we have uh, Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Cyclops great figure and then like I said this Diamond Select Rogue Bust, uh, Cyclops and Rogue are my favorite X-Men characters. They were my favorite characters in the animated series, in the comics, and my favorite characters to play in Marvel vs. Capcom and X-Men vs. Street Fighter. And Hasbro is re-releasing that whole collection, which is awesome. So, yeah. It's a Saturday, 11.06 in the morning, June 22nd, 80 degrees in my room. And we have my gaming PC. This is a pre-built... Uh, PC with parts swapped out so I the parts that were swapped out are the graphics card the RAM the power supply the CPU slash processor fan but yeah which is great I, I love gaming on my PC I just love using the PC in general like ever since gaming on my PC I never went back to console gaming and I was a PlayStation kid my whole life so yeah and then secret lab share Nothing too crazy. And if you guys notice, I changed the gaming chair mat because my previous one was peeling off. So you get what you paid for it. And as you guys can see, it's very wrinkled. I, I, for some reason, felt lazy and did not decide to iron it, to iron it out and flatten it out, but whatever, you know? So there's that. Uh, we, right here, we have my TV. You can see a reflection of myself. Uh, speakers which are poorly positioned, these Logitech speakers. My Blu-ray, which I have for over a decade. This Kotobukiya Bishoujo uh, statue, this Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Nina Williams. I kept her in the box because she displayed better in the box than outside of the box, but yeah. Uh, we have like these cube organizers right here. I think this one has my like uh, disinfectant wipes and this one has, um, other few action figures I have left that are not displayed, so yeah. And we have what is left of my comic collection. These are all hardcover comics and pretty much uh, a collection of specific comics or comics of a specific era or writer or compilation comics in general. So for example, these, uh, what is this? Um, these Penguin Classics collection, these are just comics based on characters from the 60s, you know, Marvel characters from the 60s. I only bought the Avengers one out of impulse because 
it had a cool green color, but I wish Penguin Classics made the Hulk. And if they make the Hulk, I will swap this out or swap the Avengers out and put the Hulk in this collection. Just because the big three for Marvel for me growing up was technically Spider-Man, X-Men, and the Fantastic Four. But growing up in the 2000s and just Marvel in general, the big three were always Hulk, Spider-Man, and Wolverine. So, yeah. But, and we have my DC collection, which is just the Trinity. So we have Batman, A Celebration of 75 Years, which is a compilation of comics of Batman over the years. Uh, we have Tales of the Batman by Len Wein, which is one of the more expensive ones, which is crazy. And Superman, The Celebration of 75 Years, Superman, The Man of Steel, Volume 1 by John Byrne. I love John Byrne's Superman. Uh, Wonder Woman, The Celebration of 75 Years, and we have Wonder Woman by John Byrne, which, you know, I'm a big John Byrne fan, you know, when it comes to She-Hulk, Fantastic Four, uh, Superman, Spider-Man. I believe he did X-Men as well, and... Uh, his Spider-Man was okay, but yeah. And we have the, soft, the subwoofers for my Logitech speakers. I have two of them because one is for the TV, the other one's for the PC. And down here, these are household items. So chargers, wires, plugs, you know, AV cables, stuff like that. A Batman waste basket, more household items like tapes, calculators, mini fans, uh, screwdrivers, batteries, spare phones, stuff like that. And let's pan up and this is the Batman animated series poster, which is really cool, very iconic poster. And I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm trying to make my room more of a 90s, maybe to an extent early 2000s kind of feel, but yeah. X-Men the Animated Series and Batman the Animated Series were a big part of my childhood, especially watching them on reruns. So, there's that. <laughs> Down here, you guys can see a fake plant, a lamp, and a fan. So, that's pretty much it. There's nothing special about them. That's just what I have right here. And as you guys can see here, my whole Blu-ray collection with my Batman of vehicles and action figures um, displayed in front of them. We'll go with the top one. Obviously the top one is uh, the animated series. I mean, this whole shelf is basically Batman from the 90s, but just consists of movies and animated series. And this first shelf, uh, I went with this battle helmet Batman, as they call it. He was a mail away uh, figure, but I got him because this is as close as I'm going to get to the combat belt Batman because the combat belt Batman is very sought after and he's the only one that's accurate to the animated series but I bought this one because I really like the blue sheen and it's just it's as close as I'm going to get to the uh, combat belt Batman because the combat belt Batman it's very difficult to find him in for a good price but also in good condition as well so this is my next best bet this was a mail away figure from Kenner so yeah and we have these Jada toys some people pronounce it Jada toys I pronounce it Jada so these are the Jada toys uh die cast 124 scale battle bill from the animated series and right here while this is a Kenner mold this new Batman adventures figure it's actually released under the Batman Mission Masters series I believe this is series 3 and they called this one the night assault Batman which um, the Batman Mission Master series was under Hasbro because I think Hasbro took over from Kenner and started re-releasing um, Batman Kenner molds in different colors and stuff. I got this one because he has a nice gray color to it and the gold utili utility belt just looks cooler. But yeah, and this version of Batman is my favorite Batman just because he's the more angrier and jaded version of Batman from the new Batman Adventures. And this was the Batman that did not just stick around in the late 90s, but in the early 2000s because he had merchandise in the early 2000s. And this was way before the 2004 series, The Batman. So this dude was around. So we had, uh, like I said, tie-in merchandises, t-shirts, stuff like that. But he also had video games. Like on the PS1, it was called Batman Gotham City Racers, which was not a good game. And on PS2, we had Batman Vengeance, Batman Rises Sin Zoo, And we also had the 
direct-to-video or direct-to-DVD animated movie called Batman Mystery of the Batwoman. And not only that, we also had Justice League and Justice League Unlimited Batman, which was basically the same Batman because it's Kevin Conroy and it's the DC Animated Universe, so... But yeah, so that's the first shelf. The second shelf is my favorite, I guess, display piece of the bunch, even though I like the first one just as much, but pretty much the three Batmans. We have uh, Keaton, Clooney, and Kilmer. So, or Keaton, Kilmer, and Clooney. And these Batman movies were my childhood. This is the McFarlane figures from the six pack, so I don't know why it's not focusing, but yeah, these are from the six pack with the cloth capes. And I know people said um, Kilmer was the best one of the bunch, but uh, Clooney is all like underrated you know as an action figure at least because he the likeness is just as good and he was just as fun to like mess around with play take pictures you know and in action figure form this suit looks great in action figure form with the nipples and everything and it really solidified the idea that batman and robin was made to sell toys i just felt like the kenner ones from back then were not that great and just because it's um, they, they were rarely accurate to the movie. So we had some that were accurate to the movie, but not the majority of the line. And I'm glad McFarlane was one of the only people or companies to actually make accurate action figures in this scale, in the seven inch scale. So yeah, and these were my childhood Batman movies. This was way before Batman Begins hit theaters in 2005. So the relevant Batman movies at the time were pretty much these three, you know? were the four movies, 1989, Return, Forever, and Robin. And I will say if McFarlane makes a Batman Returns suit, I will swap this one out just because then you'll truly feel like a 90s Batman collection because, you know, uh, Batman Returns released in 1992. So I think having a Batman Returns outfit here would be more appropriate rather than the 1989, but whatever. And down here we have the Jada Toys Batman 1989 Batmobile, which you could also pretend and say, oh, this is also the Batman Returns Batmobile as well, and the Jada Toys 124 scale diecast Batman Forever Batmobile. But yeah, that's pretty much the Batman display. This is one of my favorites in my room that stands out and it looks really cool, but we'll turn around. And here is my bed. It's a purple bed with a, uh, blanket uh comforter as they call it but yeah and we have the crash team racing uh nitro fuel you know poster and sorry for the glare but this is the spyro reignited collection or reignited trilogy poster which these two are my childhood characters these are my childhood gaming characters my childhood games Technically, yes, they're remakes of the originals, but still, like, I played these games growing up as a kid, so, yeah, played the original ones, but, yeah, and here is the, uh, I guess shelf lamp, shelf tower lamp, right here, which has the first four figures, uh, Spyro statue from the Reignited Trilogy. Uh, there is my pencil holder, which also holds my phone and uh, glasses pouch for my glasses. Water bottle, two coasters, and two remotes. One remote is for the Blu-ray and one is for my TV. Down here, this is the Crash Bandicoot uh, Insane Trilogy. The, yeah, the statue. My first four figures as well, which looks so cool. And this is my futon. Uh, coffee table with a candle in the middle and two coasters and an extra pillow and a spider-man blanket and under the spider-man blanket there should be a ps1 blanket but yeah and these posters right here i put these posters up because they represent not just my childhood but these are my favorite i guess my favorite cartoon of all time ed and eddie my favorite anime of all time even though in my last Room tour video, I said Cowboy Bebop was my favorite anime, but Dragon Ball Z is up there as well. And yeah, and these were both on Cartoon Network. Even though Cartoon Network rarely showed the Boo Saga for Dragon Ball Z, but still, it was cool. And the Boo Saga is my favorite uh, saga or arc for Dragon Ball Z. So there's that. And I guess 
you can say these are more 90s and 2000s. I know on the internet there was a debate about Ed and Eddie being a 90s show. Sure, it aired in 1999, but it, <laughs> but the remaining of the series were from the 2000s. Same could be said with Dragon Ball. I know some people say it was an 80s anime because it, were, it aired in 1989, but the rest of the series was in the 90s. And you could argue and say it pretty much went through the 2000s as well when it appeared on Cartoon Network along with Bruce Falconer's music, but yeah. And down here, there's this Playmates Toys, uh, Lara Croft statue slash figure. I say statue slash figure because it looks like a statue, but somewhat of a figure because she has some articulation and you can take out like her pistols and holster them, but yeah. And I have this one right here because she was also part of, you know, my PS1 childhood. Like when I think of the big three for PS1, it's her, Crash Bandicoot, and Spyro. And I know she first, you know, released on the Sega Saturn, her first game released on the Sega Saturn, I believe. And then it went on PS1 and PC and all that. But a lot of gamers seem to mistaken that she was exclusive to the PS1, myself included. But either way, to me, I'll always think of her as a PS1 character, or yeah, PS1 character. But there's that, there's a lamp, a uh, nightstand with three uh, drawers. My bulletin board, which has 10 signs, a uh, coffee 10 sign, a uh, Betty Page 10 sign, and a uh, college pennant that I attended. A uh, mirror and uh, my diplomas and degrees. My college degrees and high school diploma, printer, and another nightstand. And that's pretty much it in my room tour. So this video is longer than usual. I've been yapping a little bit more compared to in the past, but yeah. And I'll see you guys next time.